Hi everybody, this is Karen, Karen Crehan Sayago. My website is under Karen Crehan. My legal name is Karen Sayago. I wanted to share with you a lesson that the nature angels taught me about this beautiful flower. It's called the Solosia. I don't think I've ever seen a flower that looks like this. I have compared it to coral, the way coral grows. It's so beautiful. And then I, I had to actually just try to understand how the flower grows. So I want to show you how it just completely winds around like ribbon. It just keeps going and growing bigger. It's really beautiful. You can see the smaller ones here. They'll continue growing to get to be as big as this one. And now the lesson that the nature angels wanted me to share with you was that this beautiful color, this is the color ruby red. This is the color that is the divine mother. So when you look at this flower, you are actually filling up with divine mother's love. I'm gonna pinch it in out a little so you can really see it. And just let this color come into your being. Let this color fill you. When you are filled with divine mother's love, you're full. This is the love that you need. The love that sometimes we can't get from the outer world. You can always get it from the plants, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom. So also what the nature angels wanted me to tell you about this flower, because of its very unusual shape, it also looks like a brain. It could look like how the human brain looks in diagrams. And then as I was showing you before, it actually even separates into two halves, very much like the human brain. You might have heard about the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere and how one part of the brain does one job and the other part of the brain does the other job. Well, this flower helps to balance our brain. It helps balance both the logical mind and the creative mind. So when you're looking at this flower, besides being filled up with Divine Mother's love, you're also having your brain being balanced, balanced with the divine masculine and the divine feminine. When they work together, you can create anything. So let this flower image just work on you a little bit. Just keep looking at it. The wind is blowing. I'm sure you see the flowers moving, showing you how there is change. There is change coming. The wind brings through change. So let this, let this wind remove stale thoughts, old beliefs. Let it leave, let it leave your being. Because when you clear out things in your being, then you make room for more things to come in. So let go, let go of old limiting beliefs Look at this flower image and let it fill you up. Let it fill you up with Divine Mother's love so that you can create something. You can follow your dream. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more again so that you could really see it and really let it work on you because the energy is held not only in the flower, it's held in this video. So let this flower work on you. Let it help balance you. Just breathe. Breathe and say, I allow. I allow my brain to be balanced between the divine masculine and the divine feminine so that I can create. I let myself be filled with Divine Mother's love.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and this short lesson from the nature angels. Every flower brings us a healing. Every flower works on something specific. Sometimes with the color, like we were talking about here, the ruby red. Sometimes with the shape of the flower. Sometimes both. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to end this video now. And um, I hope that this has helped you have a better understanding of the healing power of the flowers. Bye for now.